Hello, hello, and welcome. Yes, if we're gonna do an affiliate anniversary, we're gonna do a fucking right. And if we're gonna do an affiliate anniversary correct... Oh, uh, don't worry, I changed it. It's, it's actually changing in a bit. I've already fixed that issue. I've already fixed that issue. But yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one thing I, I, I I'm, I'm kind of glad that Sony did for us, and they gave it to us. And not just the play, not the PlayStation Three version when they did the collection. No, 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 no. This is a straight out just. Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, ladies and gentlemen, it's fucking Sly Cooper and the devious Hercules. First of all, love this game to death. Second of all, yes, this game came out in two thousand five, but it still looks good. And I'm happy to say we are playing the PlayStation 5 version of the game. There is a PlayStation 4 version, but let less 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 let you, you say he's cute, but here's the thing. You have to fight Carmelita for that one. <laughs> you you might have to fight Carmelita Fox for that position to call him cute. <laughs> And, uh, last I checked, uh, that girl's packing a shock pistol, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going back to my PlayStation roots, and this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites of the PlayStation platformers. Yes, there is, there is Jack and Daxter. Yes, there is Ratchet and Clank. I am very much aware of those, and I love them all. But this is one of the classics that everybody loves. And this is one of the first platformers I actually played on my PlayStation 2 when I first got it. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, and yes, hello on YouTube as well. We are playing Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Again, this came out in 2005. This is available on PlayStation 4 and 5 now. As of this, uh, str as of this um, <laughs> recording. And I'll be glad to take you on an adventure like we're back in 2005. And, you know, you can't start the game off without a greeting from our old pal Bentley. Speaking of which. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. <laughs> and indeed we are. 
Yeah, so a little history. Like I said before, a little history with this game and me. I, I, I again, played this when I first got my PlayStation 2. And that was... Oh my god, that, that this, this, literally, I'm taking myself back because I'm about to make myself feel old. You know, I already feel old anyway, but I digress. Any old comments, you will be timed out. Anyway. <laughs> no, all joking aside. Um, When I first got a PlayStation 2, I had several games that I played. Yes, I had my Final Fantasy. Yes, I had, um... I had my other RPGs. I had Tales of Symphonia and, and other games like that. And then I also had platformers. Yes, I had uh, the Ratchet Clank series and stuff like that. The aforementioned Jack, uh, Jack and Daxter series. Yes, I played 1, 2, and 3 on there. And then there was also this little title. <laughs> now, 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 how much unhealthy time did I spend on this title? Well, you'll tell, you tell me when you see the gameplay. <laughs> when you see the gameplay, you're, you're going to see I spent an unhealthy time on this game. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm going to be doing that the entire time when I'm near those. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm having too much fun. I'm, I'm having too much fun at this be point. Don't worry, we got this. Yep. Was I worried? Nah. Also, I love, love, love this soundtrack. And it's going to be emphasis, emphasized that I love this soundtrack once we get to a certain, um, certain, um, <laughs> boss. I thought I was saying that not all the soundtrack is good. Oh, no, the whole soundtrack is just amazing. I love it. Yeah, sorry if I got ahead of that, but yeah, that was the first code that you were supposed to get. <laughs> 937 was the code. Sorry about that. <laughs> my memory is kicking in. My, my, my memory is literally kicking in, and, I, and I'm sorry if I go ahead. <laughs> but yeah, the, the first code is 937 if anyone's curious. <laughs> But yeah, we just got the police code that the release file that we need for Sly to, uh, well, to recover something that was stolen from him. We're about to find out what it is. But uh, first, oh, Criminal. hello, Carmelita. Raccoon. I've caught you red handed. Ah, Carmelita. Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ha, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? <laughs> this pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat. But I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Mm. Hey, Sly, a charmer. <laughs> he, he, he's a charmer with the ladies, as you can tell. But uh, Carmelina ain't buying that shit. <laughs> as, as you can tell with her fucking shock pistol. Which uh, is very shocking to the touch. Yes, that was a t intentional pun. Oh, God. And I don't think she liked the pun. Yikes. Yeah, she didn't like the pun. Nope. Nope. Yep. Time to deja vu out of here. Bye. Me, yeah, sorry, Carmelita. I kind of am escaping. <laughs> Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, 
I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I'd come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. And that's pretty much the concept of the game. <laughs> that was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. So do I. Also, welcome on in. Welcome on in. <laughs> I've already plotted a route to our first target. Yeah, don't mind Murray. He's just he's just having a snack before we go before before he has to go drive and get and get ready to go to our first target. Which our first target He happens to be a little bit hopping mad with uh, machinist power in his mind. You'll understand when when, when you hear the case file. <laughs> yes, there's a pun there. Yes, it, 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 it's 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 the hint about who we're about to take down first. And uh, Sly, my boy, if you could do me a favor, introduce this chat in the crowd. Who we're going against first, if you don't mind. <laughs> the road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. And welcome to the first episode of the game, Tide of Terror. And this is where the music opens up, opens up for me, because, oh my god, I love this first track. I do. So much. You say Panda King, I say I I I say Miss Ruby, but that's just me. <laughs> I I love her boss battle. Her boss battle is just mm, 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 a chef's kiss for me. Hey Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll love Sly's confidence. I love it. 
<laughs> All right. Yeah, fuck those signs. Yeah, fuck those signs. I was eating warding signs? When? I'm sorry. When, when was I eating warding signs? Now, now, put it down. <laughs> nice try, Buster. Yeah, so the game is a lot powerful than you think. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> All right, off we go. Hey, there we go. Now me getting a coin during a cutscene. Now, now me getting a coin during a cutscene. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, your security system is shit, bro. Oh. Hey, buddy. Love the stars. Love smacking the crap out of you too. <laughs> Love it. Can you tell I'm having too much fun with the game again? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I forgot a coin. Don't mind me. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> Tell him. Hey! Back off, I'm the only pyro around here, bitch. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you that? Oh. Okay, uh, okay, before we continue further, I've actually slipped off of here the first time. I've actually slipped off of this part before. <laughs> uh yeah, just 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 keep jumping. Like real talk. Just 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 keep jumping and you'll be fine. Or you'd be like me the first time just slipping off the waterfall, like, oh. So that's a death. Huh. Nope. Let me get that clue. Thank you. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. E. Woohoo. There we go. Hello. Hello. Metal. Buddy, put down a hammer. It's not needed. The violence is not needed. You know, I say that as I smack him into oblivion with my cane, but okay. <laughs> oh. Ah. Yeah, I'll save those coins for later. Ah, uh ah, -uh -uh. Nice try. No. Oh, you curved it. I didn't know they can curve. Huh. Good to know. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. 
Oh, it's a good thing we're close to getting all those clues, eh? Aha! There we go. And over we go to get the last two clues. <laughs> Bing. You found it, Sly! That's the final clue to crack the code! Now find out the Press the circle to enter the vault code. The clues have led me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. And there we go. I may use this once or twice in the game. We'll see. But we shall see. Ah, uh, yes. And by the way, after every level, there is a prize for us. And this is it. Yep. All right. go and now we're in Raleigh's uh oh now might be a good time to mention that hitting the X button twice will give you an extra high jump flip I want to say I was trying to <laughs> it wouldn't let me jump over for a little bit that I stuck looks like the most secured location on this boat if Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. Yeah, that part. But I warned you. I marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Uh, to, 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 to be fair, Bitly, that wasn't really much of a warning. That was just more so exposition. Also, hi, Cry. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm trying to argue with a turtle about uh, exposition and warnings. There are clear differences, right? That's a chat. Wow, you Let found you know. Lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Aw, thank you for the bit. Appreciate that. <laughs> oh. You can tell that Raleigh's a little, um, he, he, uh, let's just say the man is charming. It, it, yeah, he, he, he's charming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just go with the fact that he's charming, right? Right. Anyway. <laughs> Into the machine we go. ha <laughs> ha. Furnace 
doors? Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Hell yeah. Yum. Hey buddy, what I tell you about the hammer? Chill with that. <laughs> Eureka! We're in the engine room! My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key and sabotage his machine while you're at it. Machine sabotage? Hmm. Just the sort of thing I need to hear as an agent of chaos. <laughs> Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves. God, I miss this game so much. The folks, you, 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 you. I, I know, I know, I'm not gonna say that y'all don't have an idea, but y'all have no idea how much I miss this game. <laughs> When I first heard the announcement of this game being being available for PlayStation 4 and 5, I was like, you're fucking kidding me. Don't tell me that. When I saw the price, I was like, yep, it's mine. It's mine. Oh. 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 Okay. Aha. All right. I almost missed those. I hope I got the other ones as well. I forgot. I, I didn't. I, I. I. My mind was going a little too fast when I did that. But shit up. Ooh. Oh god, I hate this part. Oh god, I hate this part. It. It. The background can be confusing. Nice and careful. Nice and careful, Sly. There you go, buddy. Right. Oh! Hmm. That was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> but we still got him. All right. All right, here we go. Nice and careful. We don't want to go too fast. Oh, what? I know I grabbed that. You cannot tell me I did not grab that, but okay, that's fine. There gotta be some instances that I grab but I don't. It's weird. Hey, looking good. Oh. Nice. Buddy, what did I just tell you? Put down the frickin'... Boy. Oh, yeah. This one's gonna be the tricky old one. Oh. Okay. Nope! Oh, I missed that one. Damn it. I were out to come back through this. Uh damn it all. That's okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. We could just come through. We can come back through. It's fine. That just means I have to come back to get a clue. It's fine. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. If I had, you know what? I got lives. It's fine. I literally have lives, it's fine. Sly, I'm gonna need you to die for me, please. I love you to death, buddy. Yeah, I love you to death, Sly. But we need that clue. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh, back away. And I think we're long from a checkpoint, so I need to be a little careful with my lives. Thankfully, you don't have to worry about the live system in 2 or 3, because there's a health system for it. Okay. Oh. 
There we go. New. New, new, new. Okay. Okay, we're gonna jump on the right side this time. Cool. Okay. 21 out of 30. Okay. I had to be sure about the clues for a second. Nice. Alright. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no! Uh. <laughs> uh the positioning. Oh the one thing that's gonna distract me the most is the camera. Cause the camera is uh, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, the camera's not really good on here. Oh and plus it has been a while. Oh, it's been a hot minute since I played this game. Mm. No. Lost a lucky charm off of that, but hey, you know. Oh. I did not get this clue. Oh, we need to fix that. No, 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 my phone alarm is actually a lot better than that. It's not that, thank God, but, uh, you know. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Got a checkpoint. Good. Uh. Oh! Bad again is a good thing I got a checkpoint. <laughs> uh, uh, kind of fried fly on that one. That was, um. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of fried fly on that one. Alright. Uh, wait a minute. How do we get past this? Okay, hold up. Is there a way to? Yep. Okay, there is. Good. I almost forgot about that. Yep, the treasure. The treasure's right there. Hey, buddy. No. All right. That's the safe. So, okay, over here. Because I do believe the last few clues are up in this area. For the checkpoint, Bentley. Love you to death. Yo, you are snarky. Oh. Ooh. Shoo. She. Here we go. Where are my last two? Where are my last clues? We need to find the last. Oh. oh no! Oh, I hate that. That was oh. That was jank if that was if I ever saw it. But okay, we'll, we'll go with that. It's not the game's fault. It's merely my timing. It's like I said. It's been a minute. 
And I feel like I missed some clues. So I may have to go back to find them. Maybe. We'll have to see. Because at this point, you're supposed to have them all, I think. Yeah, well, at this point, the level, you're supposed to have them all. Oh. Oh, there's a clue. Okay. 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 What? I know I hit the square. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. And I only played the PS4 version just for a little bit, just to get, get my bearings down. I didn't know both versions would be like this. Might be just my timing, though. It honestly might just be my timing, because it has been like a minute. There we go. And yes, I did miss a couple of clues. Hmm. I missed two of them. That's okay. I have to remember where I missed those clues at. We, we might have to do the level again, but we'll see. Which I don't mind. That's it. Second treasure key down. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention, the clues are very well hidden. Oh, whoops. Alright, give me just a minute to get some water.
can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. Jackpot slide! Look at all this stuff! Must be worth it! And you know what that means? Tighter security! You're gonna have to be extra sneaky to get the treasure key here! Hello, hello. 
This code up knew what they were doing. Dial in four three six. <laughs> These 
are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder... Yes, I can wire this info directly into your binoculum. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. is raining way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. Thank you. 
machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. That means something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said?
<laughs> oh wow, I just realized I was I was muted the entire time. Whoops. <laughs> I I'm glad my chat did not remind me that I was muted the entire time. I am thankful that uh, uh that that my chat did not tell me that I was muted the entire time. <laughs> Uh, chat, y'all throwing. Y'all supposed to help me out, not 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 sabotage me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, no, to be fair, I did not know I was muted. That was my bad. But um, yeah, several things that y'all saw while I was muted. Um, one, I actually exited the level several times. One time that was actually by accident for the first time. Because I didn't know that the trophy was could be gotten that easily of completing fire down below without touching a hook. Amazing. Amazing how I did that, by the way. That and... Well... Yeah, the rest of the level is easy enough. It's got to be five, seven, nine. All right. Kill. Got another clue. Woo! Outstanding. Another page from the Phoebus Raccoonus. This one features Death Cooperinda's slow motion jumps. He used this to get by all kinds of airborne threats. Hit the triangle button while in the air to slow down time. Oh, uh, she showed that off real quick. Cool. I love it. <laughs> All right, fire down below is done. Now let's go ahead and um, let's get another level knocked out. I do believe we got one over here. I could be wrong. Oh, hold up. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Oh. What's that about? You can't see nothing. A cunning disguise. How cunning we're talking. Oh, that's yes, right. This is the library one. Mm. A cunning disguise indeed. Oh, yeah. This is the library one. This is going to be fun. Those rats got pegged. Appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master darting board. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Yeah, that's that 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 that'll probably get me killed a couple times. I know it. I can already tell. But the darts are a lot more scarier to worry about. <laughs> yes, I did this on purpose. I did this on purpose. will be able to see you even if he shines his flashlight on you. Nice. 
Now this is where I'm gonna have to remember where all the clues are. Cause I do and then I don't remember where all the clues are. Oh. Wait a minute. Got it. All right. Wait a minute. There's a way to do it from the top, isn't it? If I could strike him from the top, he'd be no problem. Yep. Got him. That's all I need to see. That's all I need to know. Good. Time to bring our barrel. Come barrel, buddy. Ah, the cute tiptoes. Tippy top, tippy 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 tippy. Oh, hi. And then I get burned by those. There we go. Twelve so far. Good, good, good. Fourteen. Good, good, good. We're doing well in the clue department. Yeah. There we go. Nice. We should be good. Here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, no, this is where it's gonna get tricky. This is actually where this is gonna get tricky. Uh-oh. That's good. We're good here. Hold on. I know I could get... Come on. There is a way. Haha. -ha. I might as well die here. Yep. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. We're good. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't think it allowed you to do that. Can I? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. I got away with being a sly little little raccoon. <laughs> I didn't think I can get away with that, but I did. This time. <laughs> Got you that time, didn't I? Okay. Huh? Oh, I hear it above me. Okay, never mind. I was like, what am I hearing? Oh wait, I know what it is. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. You're supposed to bring this with the barrel with you. Okay. I almost forgot about that. You're supposed to bring the barrel with you. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Okay. Wait a minute. Let him pass. Let him pass. There you go. Get those clues. Alright. So we're good there. Now we just gotta go back. Oh, so that's what I heard. That's right. Last three clues. Hmm. That's right. We're up here. There we go. gonna come in handy. That's gonna come in real good handy later. Alright, time to get that treasure key. But first, I do believe that it's like, what, four or five of those treasure keys? Yep, five. Mm -hmm. We just need two more treasure keys after this. But first... Bloop. And... Oops. Heck yeah. Uh -huh. In we go. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you would fail to knock out that generator. Never was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. <laughs> anyway, to get inside that thing, you have to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's it's You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. I do believe that there is... Yep, there's one right there and then there's one right there. We're going to go for the one over here first. We're going to go for the level over here first. Whoa. 
Oh, oh, you clever. Oh, you clever. Thank you. Oh, thank you for doing that. <laughs> All right. Treasure in the depths. Here we go. This is actually a lot harder than it looks. Oh no 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 Okay. This is actually a lot harder than it looks, funny enough. Although I'm about to make this look so easy. Oh, hit that one. Okay, okay. Oh, Going, where are you going? This is where it's gonna get overwhelming at the end. Oh! No! That's okay. Here we go. Adam. All right. Now we got one more treasure key to get. Which means also one more clue to get as well. Or one more page for this area, for this part of Thieves Raccoonus. Too late. Gunboat graveyard. All right. Yeah. 
Good thing there's only like 20 clues in here. Wait, is there a way to get over there? I almost forgot about that. Is there... No, you have to go a certain way. You have to go a different way to get over there. Okay. But sorry, I'm thinking ahead. Uh, I was thinking ahead to part of level. I don't know why I was. Okay. Okay. I'll shut off the alarm first before we get those clues. Okay. There we go. So good. Uh oh. <laughs> nice try, buddy. Oh. again. Damn. <laughs> oh! Nope. Gotcha. 
Got him. Oh, oh wow, hit an extra life out of him. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Apparently I'm skilled enough to hit an extra life out of you. Go figure. Plundered all the treasures from Raleigh. <laughs> That's all seven treasure keys. All right, folks. We got all seven treasure keys. We got all the clues that we needed for this section of the Thievius Raccoonus. And uh, we completed all the heights, the, all the areas. Now we just got to do one thing to end this session off. Make frog's legs out of Raleigh. Bring it on, Froggy. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Got your froggy boy. Come on, buddy. Should we go for hops? Hoppy hoppy? 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 H
Hab ich, hab ich. Nope. <lacht> Up. It's fine. Come on, buddy. Come on, Frogger. Come on, wanna be Frogger. Out you go. <laughs> Next. Oh. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Get out. <laughs> Next. This is a little package there, sir. Oh. Oh. Got him. Oh, are you upset? Oh no. This is this is the tonger. Oh. Why'd I do that? Why'd I go off the edge? I was thinking too hard. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Black. In that face. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? <laughs> Shall we go again, Sir Wally? Uh oh. I don't want to jump too ahead of him. Oh. Oh! Oh, I missed my chance. Damn it. That's fine. That's fine. Right here. Oh! Oh, he smushed me. Damn. <laughs> this is just getting too hilarious, Raleigh. Really hilarious after a while. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's right. This frog has hops. I forgot about that. Got him. Him. You beaten me. Damn right. Gloat on you, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> <laughs> Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. 
You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Nice, and that's good for time trials, but we will not be doing that. <laughs> All right. Mm, I think I have time to do one more big heist. We're all set to go to Mesa City. All right, let's go to Mesa City and meet our next criminal of the Phoenix Five. Good old mugshot. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sunset Snake Eyes. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. We need a little break anyway. All right, give me one second. I need to go grab some water anyway. Literally need to grab some water mm. before we start taking tackling Mesa City. We're actually just going to do this first part of Mesa City, just so we're clear, because I actually kind of want to do this in like one heist intervals. Because I, I know how I am when it comes to platformers. If I sit for too long playing a platformer, it's going to be a pain in the butt. I know that for myself. I know how I am with platformers. So, like I said, give me a moment to get some water and we'll complete this first part of Mesa City. And then the next time we come back to this, we'll go right back into it and start taking on Muck Shots area. But uh, let me get some water real quick so we can end this off right. Alright, let's get a taste of Mesa City, yeah? <laughs> yes, I am back. <laughs> let's get a taste of Mesa City real quick. Oh. First two clues right here. Love that. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. 
What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, Liebeth lively impresseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> That's an accurate translation, good sir. <laughs> I know that was ancient speaking and all that, but just, yeah. To do the spire jump, just hit the circle button. There you go. <laughs> That's a rough translation. Yeah, no shit, Bentley. <laughs> Give me an even rougher translation. Oh, I love doing that. That is so much fun. <laughs> I love doing that. Death from above. Death from above. We're going to be doing that a lot in this playthrough, by the way. There's going to be situations where I'm going to be doing death from above a lot more often than I should. And that's just to get past certain objects and certain... Hey, puppy. I you don't. Okay, just so we're clear, folks. If dolls don't like me in real life, what, what, what could, what could happen if a video game doll bothers me? Well, let's find out, shall we? Nope. <laughs> yeah, video game dolls don't like me. I get it. Well, at least I'm not facing the one that could beat the crud out of you in a fight. Why am I all? Why? Why? Why did I just mention that? And I'm now suddenly mentioning, thinking about clay fighters. Oh, by the way, uh, cool, uh, Sly sinking. Don't mind him. It's fine. You gotta be really good about jumping on those area in this area. I don't know why. Uh, like I said, my platforming skills are lacking, and it's very evident. That's why I want to do like one one section per area for the Thievius Raccoonus. But like I said, we're going to do just the beginning of Mesa City. So that way, next time we come back to this, you all will have a taste of what we're going to deal with in Mesa City here. What the? I know I jumped. Okay. I know I jumped, but okay. That's fine. Why I was not able to make those jumps before, and I know I can. It might just be because of the timing. It has, like I said, it's been a minute. And what? What? I know I jumped up. PS2 platforming at its finest, let me tell you, folks. PS4, P, 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 PlayStation 2 platforming games at its finest. No, this is not going to deter me from playing the game. It's just, uh, I, I forget the, the, the joys of having the game back in, in a modern era. You're still going to deal with the old gripes of old platforming, especially from the PlayStation 2 era. And this is no exception. This is by far no exception. 
much as I love this game, much as I love this series. But then again, this is this is this is this is uh, an experimental. This was an experimental game from the start, anyway. And this was Sucker Punch's start into um, making a game like this. So I can't really give him too much crap for it. It's just annoying after a while. <gasps> what? I mean, I'm not mad this time because I got the clue over there. So, yeah, we're good. Hmm. A pity horseshoe. I, I, pretty, I, I appreciate that. It's, it's, it's just as, it's just as bad. It's just as bad in the crash games when, when, when they give you a freaking pity aku aku. Oh god, that's a whole different can of worms talking about the crash, crash series. Now you might wonder, am I gonna play that series at some point? It, probably. It's gonna be a lot of practice before I do, though. Oh my god, this is gonna be a lot of practice. Oh. Bad puppy. Not gonna lie, that part actually jump scared me at one point. I was like, wait, what? What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high tech security. Electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing. But it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Good to know. Alright, got that. Tiptoe by the window very carefully to get this clue because you don't want to jump over this unless you're really skilled but uh yeah seriously just 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 be careful <laughs> hey Woo! hey i got an extra life out of that yeah every once in a while some enemies will have an extra life on them so bear that in mind uh-huh. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You got a card for me? Pick a card, any card. I pick the card that gets me to win. There we go. Ha ha ha. I love that. Okay, so... Oh, wait, we're good. Okay, so... Oh, okay, I'm thinking way too hard about this. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this. Uh -uh. Down you go. There you go, Sly. There you go, my boy. There you go. I'll deal with y'all in a minute. Alright. 13 more clues. Left. Got this, Jeremy. Whoop! Oh, quit your bowing. Get out. I saw that. Quit your buy one. Hello. Oh. Aha. Nice. Nope. All right. Cool. Make sure I didn't miss any clues again. Again, I did say I was gonna slow down for the clues this time. Hey, we got a gold charm. All right. Okay, so fun fact about the coins. If you get the coins a hundred times the first time, a hundred coins the first time, you get a silver one. If you get it another time and you still have the silver one on you, it'll turn into a gold charm. So you technically have three hits. Um... You technically got three chances to uh, 
<laughs> make it through these op make it through the obstacles. Oh. Oh, that's right. There's something over there. There's something over there. Okay. Let's go back to get that. Let's go back and get those. Very important. There we go. Okay. And then, of course, the uh, safe is right there. So we can come back and get that. Okay. Oh! I did not know it was that close. What the heck? I did not know it was that close. Huh. Go figure. I thought it was not that close. Mm, nope. Oh, thank you for that extra life. I guess I know I screwed up, didn't you? Alright, let's go back to the safe, shall we? Let's just go back to that safe. Mm. No! Mm. Well, we might be able to go back to the safe this time a little quicker now. <laughs> uh, I mean, at least we got the clues, question mark. Now y'all might wonder why is it why is it safe we doing out here, but uh, Press the circle. let's not ask questions, shall we? <laughs> A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in three one four. All right, looking good. Cooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Test that theory. Nice. Hehe. <laughs> All right. All right. So now that we got that knocked out. Oh yeah, that's right. We have to do. We do have to trip the alarm. We have to shut down the alarm again, wouldn't we? There we go. There you go, my boy. We did it. Yay. Uh-uh-uh. Nice try, Buster.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, and we are in Mesa City. We are in Mugshot's turf now. Nice. Oh. I forgot there was a there was an area over there. Whoops. Now, now why would I go off the cliff like a moron? Can you not do that? This mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chose to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, we will. We will think of something. So, with that in mind... <laughs> with that in mind, we are actually going to end the session here. And this was actually fun. This was actually fun to start off... <laughs> I'm playing this one because, oh my god, it's been a while since I played Sly Cooper, and as you can tell, my skills have, um, deteriorated since 2005, but hey, you know, playing other games will do that to you. But that being said, now that we have a moment, <laughs> and now we can actually pause and quit. Yes, really quit. <laughs> Now that we have the time to, uh... Oh, no, I'm sorry. This came out in 2002. Oh, God, my skills have really screwed. It's been screwy. Uh... <laughs> ah, that says a lot. But, uh, yeah, that's who will, um, in my session for Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Do appreciate you stopping by. And also, also... Do appreciate everybody being a supportive person to this channel, which... I do want to state that I have been affiliate since looking at the page for this. Since 2018 of uh, June 16, 2018. So it's been a good six years of being an affiliate, but you know, off and on doing streaming. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy streaming and I do enjoy meeting new people, playing games that people may not know of or have and I was like wait you played this I'm like okay I want to see your interpretation of playing the game and I do like doing that for you all and I thought about this and I knew that the timing would be perfect if I got this game before the affiliate uh, anniversary on my channel but um yeah it's been six years since I've been an affiliate and here's hoping to another four years for our 10th anniversary when we get to that. <laughs> that being said, uh, depending on how I feel tomorrow, I may or may not stream tomorrow, but um, uh, Tuesday is definitely going to be Warframe. I can definitely assure you for that because there is going to be a update for um, the story for Warframe, uh, along with uh, new mechanical updates and all that, for what I've heard from the updates uh, from the um, from the sources for digital streams. So we'll uh, go from there. But uh, yeah, I do thank y'all one for watching the stream, watching this uh, first session of Sly Cooper, and two, of course, for you all on Twitch for watching my channel for six years. I do appreciate that. Even if there was a couple of rebrandings that we had to do. That said, we're gonna put the first part of this on YouTube and um, for those that did not, was not able to stick around for this um, stream the whole time. And then once we come back, probably next Sunday, <laughs> Me and the Cooper are about to have a little fun with Mugshot next time. <laughs> Till then, do appreciate y'all stopping by. And it has been fun. <laughs>